Right, what up YouTube? How you doing? It's me, it's me, it's your favourite to see. It's um, Thursday, 1st of October. Um, I was going to put this on a video. I haven't got time, so I thought I'd just live stream. Um, went to the charity shop yesterday. Got some sales going out as well. Some of the ones. Some of the ones. Some of the ones. But um, yeah, not that bad. Wait for a few people to come in. Um, I need to be able to go on eBay. I'm hoping that if I switch between um, tabs on the Tinter web, that it doesn't knock me off. But yeah, that's not really it. Um, so, again, my daughter, my daughter, when she's used this desk, good lord, she sounds like a mom. So I'll have some people to come in. It's two. <laughs> Um, hi Chris B, hi Chris Tyler, all the Chrises. Hi Sue, my favourite Sue. So yeah, I'm just going to go through my sales, go through charity shop pickups from yesterday. Um, I just got some help from um, Andrea and Lex on a couple of things because I wasn't 100% on what they were. So um, I'm glad I have that. Um, you know, my brain doesn't work. You know, I have people I can go to that can. Um, work out my brain farts, but I'll show you them in a minute. Um, so yeah, got a couple of Chris's and a serving, so I'm gonna carry on. Uh, right, sales wise, had a right nightmare getting my sales this morning. The kittens, well, my little kitten, the girl kitten, she worked out how to get up in the loft, and now the male kittens copy down. Um, so I was having to, it was like a freaking comedy sketch, putting one kitten in one room, putting one kitten in another room, then the kitten had escaped, then another kitten had escaped, then they're trying to get up the ladder. I'm trying to stop them getting up the ladder. <sighs> it's a freaking nightmare. Anyway. All right. All right, what's going on? What's going on? So. What we got? So let me know if I go off. I don't think I will. Also, can you hear me? Am I clear? Can you see my beautiful face? Let me know. Um, so, right, what's going on? What's going on? What's, go what's going on? Awaiting dispatch. What's wrong with you? You're looking kind of down at me Cause things ain't getting over I have no clue why I've got a song of mad. Um, High Indie Life Escapes Why have I... Louise, it's Louise, isn't it? Why, why, it is Louise, isn't it? There's too many... Well, why the hell has my brain completely forgot about... Hi, Dave. That's simple. His name's Dave, it's there. Thanks a little bit. What, what, what's my brain all of a sudden turned off? Anyway, right, sales. I sold this lock. Um, a stop lock. Came with the key and everything. Um, I think that went for about 16. I got it for a five. Let's have a look. No, it went for 14. I've had it for a bit. So it went for 14. Um, went for 14, cost me a fiver. If I see them, I'll have them. So yeah, 15, 14 for that one. Um, a couple of whips. Um, I bought like a indie chick. Yeah, I knew it was Louise. I knew it was Louise. Like I call Lex Alex sometimes for some reason. Um, some whips. Oh, it's going to somebody kinky. I know it is. Um, so yeah, a couple of whips. I um, I bought like four whips. For like 20 quid at some point. Well, now four whips for I can't remember. It was, it was for something, but these, when I broke it down, cost me a fiver. That's what the um, the SKU number says. So, yeah, these cost me a fiver. They ended up, um, I've had them listed for like well over a year. Hi, Steve. Oh, how you doing, mate? Um, yeah. So yeah, these cost me a five. They ended up going for like seven forty nine. Um, it was like a reduced price. <laughs> I cleared, cleared out my dungeon. Oh, if I if I went, 
if I went to my wife with these, she'd be like, you, you, you mad in Hello. Hello, no bed back to you as well, Alex. Alex. And Alex, like, next large bits now. Um, yeah, 7.49. So I, I, I think when I, because I do a spreadsheet, when I worked it out, I made profit of exactly zero on these, but I got five back. So you can't complain. Got a lot of badges, all badges. <laughs> um, can you still buy walnut whips? Man, that's the kind of stuff that keeps me up at night. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. I wasn't a massive fan of them. Right, uh, we've got a little. A little tuxedo kitten playing with the ball that went for like three ninety nine, was it or something? These sales from the last two days, so nothing fantastic. Just tux yeah, tuxedo black and white cat playing kitten. So that went for three. Um, got a poppy. Remember, let me know if you can see me now because I can't see my face. Um, yeah, a poppy remembrance day one that went for four. Uh, this one was kind of nice. I need to make sure because oh, I can't see my face. Um, yeah, a JMB kind of whiskey bottle badge. I had a message off the person. Um, my father will love this for Christmas. Thanks, Ed. No problem, Ed. Always here to satisfy. So, 52p that cost me, and it went for like three pen fifty. Um, and then a elephant drinking tea. An elephant drinking tea. So that one went for like three quid as well. Um, and some assorted parts of a um fire companion. This got a transport box. Uh, some assorted parts of a fire companion. So you've got the yeah, palka and the yeah, other palka, and you brush your fork and your shovel. I have to tell you that with two palkas. I hope I have. Yes, there's two palkas there. So that went for eleven ninety nine. Um, I had to get rid of the fire companion bit, but they all, but the thing that they sit in. Um because uh it was all metal. Gonna cut me and stuff, so I'm not rid of it. Um and then clothing ah, da -da. clothing Oh let's have a look. Smack yourself I'm not gonna smack myself with the poker. Um Anybody else popped in? Hi, tea cakes. Hello. You can see you, sweet. Smack yourself. I'm not smacking myself with the poker. Hi, Joan. How are you? Um, I'll go this way. Right. Let's have a look. Right, I've got some. I don't need to put that accent on, to be fair. So I've got some Meyerhausen. Meyerhausen chinos. Um... How much that cost me? These cost me two quid. Kind of nice floral. Paisley, is that the word? Not sure pattern in the inside. Um, just some wire hose and chinos. Uh, they went for 30. That cost me two. Um, Armor Ranto. Do I stink of cigarettes or? Armor Ranto. Ladies blazer. This cost me like I think this was in like a job lot I brought off someone. Uh that went for six ninety nine. Amazing. Uh this one always makes me laugh. Cause I see Andrea um from the world famous Nick and Andrea duo. Um I see Andrea wearing this all the time. And every time she wears it, I'm like, I've got that in my shed. Every time. So yeah. Um Maybe it's a Nick and Andrea fan or an Andrea fan. Maybe it's an Andrea fan and they're like, I want a Mickey Mouse jumper like Andrea. So they brought this off me. So this, um, I bought, 
I brought a nutcracker today. Wow, done. Hi, Rachel B. What a nut. I bought a nut. Ninky Nonks and Nandria. You got Andrea in the shed. I haven't got Andrea in the shed now. I found out that I think there's a freaking cat sleeping in my shed. The past few times I've gone in there because the weather's getting crap now. Oh, yeah, this went for like nothing. Now for four quid. <laughs> um, yeah, every time when I've, I've gone in there lately, now it's getting colder. There's fur on top of my, um, on top of some of my tubs. I don't mind, like, if he wants to get out of the rain. Uh, some G Star jeans, G Star, G Star Raw. Thanks to jeans. Three pound these cost me. Some G Star jeans. Can't see my face at the minute, so sorry if I look weird. G Star jeans. What are they? Arc 3D loose tapered, size 36. These went for 25.99. They're originally on for 30, but I just took four pound pounds to job because I'm a nice guy. Um, some more G Star jeans. G Star Originals Raw Denim 330 KBW KBWG 100 jeans. Uh, these cost me, I've paid a lot of these. These cost me eight. They've only gone to 16. Again, I had them on for 20 and I've just took the postage off. So they have them for 16. So, not a lot of money in them. I think it's the ones, the G Star ones are the ones with the, um, you know, I can put it. I've got some G Star ones that I picked up yesterday. You've got ones that say three three zero one on, which are hard to. They kind of get lost in the shuffle, but like with those arc loose jeans, they're actually that name's actually on the label. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. oh yeah, and then this sold late last night. Manchester United, Manchester, Manchester United, Manchester United, Wayne Rooney. Third kit from 2010 2011. Again, I just took the postage off, it cost me three, it went for 25.99. Manchester accent, so yeah, it went for 25.99. That cost me three from a car boot or something. So yeah, that's everything that sold in the last few days. Nothing amazing, nothing amazing. Um, what's that? I'll leave a little blanket in the if it was up to if it was up to the ladies in my house, that would happen. Um, there's a couple of cats that kind of pop round to stare at our cats in the cat yard. And like she's like, Can we feed them? Can't we? There's like a house there's a house around the corner, it does my head in to be fair. There's a house around the corner where they've got three cats. And it doesn't matter what weather it is, it doesn't matter like what time of the day it is they're just not it seems like they're not allowed in that house and my daughter wants to rescue them but it does annoy me to be fair um i'm not leaving uh, da -da. what's that uh we have a little cat shed for any strays that need a place to sleep yeah mm. well i've got a shed i've got a shed with a hole in the window so if they want to sleep in there they can sleep in there but i'm not making i don't i don't need any more cats the two I've got are a pain in the arse. Absolute freaking pain in the arse. Um, I bought 10 kilo from a Vault Vintage Wholesale. The Juventus Cart and Andes Originals. No goes if hoodie should see me into profit of 110 pound. Nice. I went, I brought, um, I brought, uh, some wholesale stuff a while back, but when the lockdown was on, but it, um, no, I don't feed other people's cats. I'm not gonna. There's a couple. There's a couple around here which, like, one of them tried to get in our house the other week. It's because Lice Ly loves cats now. Like, she's she used to be when she had the kitten, she was like absolutely short scared of them, but now she couldn't get tops. Um, hi, Kirsten. Hope your shop's doing well. Hi, Peter. How are you doing? Uh, right. So this is what I got from the. Charity shop yesterday. So right, I'll go through the clothing first. Go through the clothing first. Right. So we've got 
No, I don't have to go off the screen now, so I know what I look like. Um, a Guinness polo shirt. Uh, I always pick up Guinness polo shirts because they seem to sell. Seem to sell straight away. Uh, this cost me three quid. I'll shoot for twenty five on that one. Do, do, do. Oh, it's just too much crap. Everywhere. Too much crap everywhere. Um, I'll leave that one a bit. These. Ah, this is what I was saying about the G Star ones. So, uh, some G Star jeans, 3301 raw denim jeans. Again, there's just there's a label in there, and I'd like to tell you the measurements and the material and stuff like that, but there's no kind of description for the jeans. Um, so, yeah, G Star jeans kind of got like a fire pattern on the batty cheek. Um, they cost me three. I've put 35 down. I don't think I'll put 35. But at the minute, I'm saying it's 35, but I'll probably pussy out before I end up listing them. Um, where are the kitties today? Uh, this is their bedtime. So when I get back from the school run, they go wild and we have a little bit of a play and then they disappear for the rest of the day. And that's it. Until just before I go and pick the kids up, I feed them, and then they come out. Uh, some super dry, super dry standard skinny jeans. I wasn't sure whether these needed a wash. But I'm not sure if that's kind of the way they're meant to look. Like they're meant to look a bit shite. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, these cost me three. Um, should get good for 30 on these. I said, everything that I do, I do for best stuff with. So they probably won't sell for what I'm saying. Oh, this was a bit of a punt um, because I sold a Jack Wills coat, quilted coat last week. So I saw some Jack Wills jeans. I'm not picking them up again. Uh, these cost me three. I'm going to get about 15, but I'm kind of super skinny. Who gets into them? Josh. Josh is probably the only person who gets into them. No way I'll get into them. Oh, I miss the kitties. I love them. Oh. They'd be doing my heading right now. If they're around here, then. It's all you hear. I'm probably going to probably work up now. Um, yeah, this one. Probably one of the best finds. Um, it's a barber. Barber gelée, but it's not in the best condition. Cost me four. It's not in the best condition, the kind of libels coming off. Hi, Queenie Conquest, hello. Um, the leather's kind of worn there. Yes, wake them up, I want kitties now. They'll, they'll, they'll be crawling across the laptop and everything. Not doing it. Uh, so, yeah, this cost me four. Um, at the minute, I haven't even written it down. So I'm, I'm thinking about going around 50, 60. Hi, Derek, long time. How you doing, mate? Um, yeah, I'm thinking about going 50 or 60 on that. Um, but I'm not sure. It's, it's just not the best. Oh, shit. What was that? What just fell off? Oh, TV room. Um, yeah, so 50 or 60 on that one. I'm not sure. Um, some humor jeans. Got these before. These cost me three forty nine. A mustard colour. They don't normally sit around for long. But I'll go for twenty quid on them. Ha ha! Yeah, this is all right. This was a nice one. It's not a brand that I've seen before. Um, but I just did a quick search while I was in the charity shop. It just looked like a nice quality. Nice quality coat. Um, it's autumn, it's hunting season, and any proper upper class people won't buy brand new. Hmm, okay. I wish my mind worked like that. I don't think past that. Hi, Pink Harpy. How are you? I've been saying hi to Max. Sorry. <laughs> Did you get, um, yeah, um, Couples. I've never seen the brand before, but the 
it's like a really dry mouth isn't it? yeah couples never heard of the brand before but it's a nice quality cup um i think i'm gonna go high i think i'm gonna go for about 70 quid they're going around that price around 70 but they're also going around 30 40 but sorry i'll stick it on for 70 with the best offer couples never heard of the brand it's probably everyone's like everyone knows couples how do you not know couples but i don't know couples uh, some Levi jeans. I need to left these. I'm not a massive fan of. Um, am I late? No, no, no. It'll be. <laughs> I've already gone through my sales, which weren't fantastic, and this is just charity shop stuff. I'll be here for about another ten minutes. Um, yeah, I nearly didn't pick these up. I haven't. I was watching um one of Treasure Pirates lives the other day. Not the knowledge that Heather has about like which diesel jeans to pick up or Levi jeans to pick up. I haven't got that yet. Probably never will because my brain doesn't work like that. Um, but, yeah, I'm always wary about picking up Levi jeans because I know some of them are, don't really go for that much money. You've got to pick up this certain ones. But these are five one hours, and it looks like I did all right. It should go for about 35. So, yeah, um, yeah three quid to church, charity shop in Dudley don't tag the stuff but most of it's three quid so yeah uh, levi jeans five one hour so five one hour five one hour five one hour levi jeans five one hour that was the ones that have for right on it uh 35 quid uh this one i like this one I found that lately a lot of stuff i'm getting from charity shops i'm having to wash before i end up um before i list it it's a pain in the ass I've never really washed up before ever, but now I'm having to wash a lot of stuff. Um, Mercedes Benz, Vodafone, and it's got Hamilton. It's kind of like I now. Probably like, um, you know, like a team jersey. Uh, but yeah, that cost me £2.55. I'd love to know how they come up with their prices. All the shirts in there was £2.55. Uh, £2.55, uh, I'm going to shoot for. 20 that one and then the last bit of clothing it was chain um an arsenal polo shirt again i'm gonna have to wash it because it's got food down it 255 um only get about 10. Um, what's that? Chris, Chris Salis. Never heard of it. He's a brand to look out for. Field jackets, hunting jackets. Just sold one for 200. Whoa. Chris Salis. I love going for that. I don't think that it's pretty rough. The charity shops I go to. There's not much hunting around or hunting, I don't think. Um, so it's very rare. They stick out like a sore thumb, if you know what I mean, when I went to charity shops. Most of it's just crap. <laughs> But like hunting stuff isn't really around. Uh, right, then it's just the stuff that isn't clothing. Brought a jigsaw. Um, hi, Shell Scaroni. Hello. See the clothing, so formerly known as the Ben 10 King. Yes, it is. But I've gone through my clothing now. Um, a jigsaw. Um, I mentioned in the video, this is because of. Oh, right. I know. Well, at least I know his first name, Lee, but I don't know his username. So I can't remember. I can't remember his channel. Um, but I think he was on a live with. No, I was watching Peter Cummings live, and he was in there talking about jigsaws. So it's, I'm now, I've now been looking for seal jigsaws. So yeah, uh, this one is a king puzzle of house in Cordoba in Spain. Um, but yeah, not that much. It should be about a tenner. Um, the area I used to source is in a hot spot, so I will have to travel further and in the opposite direction. Uh, yes, yeah, so I usually only find cheap stuff in my cherry shops. I found the jacket in Cumbria while on holiday. <laughs> yeah, my mum, like my mum, 
she's always taking her caravan out to places all the time. She tells me about some of the stuff in the charity shop she does, and I'm like, oh, my God. But not finding that in Wolverhampton. Uh, so, yeah, only about a tenth for that, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, this is a weird one. I just sort of picked it up because he looked, uh, looked kind of unique. Um, but I learned words today, guys. What's, where is it? Burlap. That's what the design of said owl is. Burlap. It's made of like sticks and he's even got like wet grass on his paws. Um, yeah, two pound for two pound. This was so this cost me like two quid. Um, like about 15. Yeah, just a, a burlap owl, not just a pretty face, stuff up there. Um, A Neville. A Neville. It's a Neville. I've got my phone on me. Call that tall above them. What's a Neville? Oh, crap. Nothing came up. I thought that was a keyword. So, yeah, 15 quid. Oh, uh, Some motorcycle ankle boots. Blame Lex for the nail. Oh, okay. Um, some motorcycle ankle kind of boot things. Wait, wait. There we go. Um, some motorcycle ankle boots. Uh, these cost me five ninety five. Who's that on? No, they're not two left boots. Um, Akito Miami ankle boots. It's cost me five ninety five. Should get about thirty. Yeah, thirty quid for them. Um, yeah, these were the ones that uh, Lex and Andrea um helped me with. I was just gonna go for um paperweights. I'm not. I've picked up like a few maroon glass style things, but uh, just there's like two that are like that. Blech. Two yellow ones, and then two kind of a leopard print ones. Um, looking them up and like doing kind of image searches on them, I couldn't really find anything. Um, but like I was like looking, the only thing I could think was like paperweights. But then I, I asked Lex and um, Andrea, and they reckoned. Um, Napkin holders. Carla said cock rings, but yeah. Uh, they're cool. What are they? Um, I think they're napkin holders. Well, I'm going for napkin holders anyway. Uh, but I can't really gauge a price. I'm, I'll use Maruno as a keyword or Maruno style. But I couldn't, I couldn't really gauge a price, so I'm not sure. Um, but I'm not like going like 15 quid in my head, but I just think they should go for so much more. There's not really anything like that. There's no maroon now glass napkin holders. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And then oh, another piece of kind of maroon glass. Looks like an ashtray. Every time I say ash, I, I think I say ashtray. Ash tray. Not ash. Not ash tray. Ash tray. Maroon now glass thing. That was two. Go for 20 quid on that one. There. And then the last one. Where's this guy? My mate Kev. That's a beaut, yeah. But yeah, my mate Kev. Um, anyway. um, he cost me, I was, I was shocked. I thought it cost me about a fiver. I'm also shocked how much it's actually going for. It's not that much money in it, about 20 quid. Um, but um, are people buying ashtrays these days? I'm not sure. The other key word I was thinking about putting in there was like, um, well, I'm, not, I'm not sure how you put it. It's not like a, a nut tray. But you know, like if you're eating cashew nuts, it should be. I don't know. I'm sure people still have ashtrays. 
I got 25 for the big carrot a few months ago. Ah. When I was searching it, like this is like, I think it was 48 inches. Good morning. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. Snack bowl could be. What snack bowl? Hmm. But yeah, Kevin the carrot. Um, I got him from Dudley. It cost me one pound fifty. You know what? If Derry, if Derek saying twenty five, I'm going for twenty five. Sod it. Um, vintage branded ashtrays sell well. Um, well, for what I could see, there was a few. There was quite a few. Um, that had sold. There was quite a few that had sold. So sod it. I'm still, I'm still going to try and get a twenty. Um. Was on for ages, but I did start at 50 just before lockdown. Should do well at Christmas. That's what I'm thinking. The, th the thing is, I brought the, the little ones, like, not big, but, you know, the little versions of them. And every time every time I looked at the sold prices, they're always going for, I don't know, um, you know, they're only selling for, like, six, seven quid, something like that. Um, but they sell, like... They're not on my listings for any longer than a couple of days. So I always go, oh, well, I underpriced that. And that's what I'm thinking about this. I think if I go for 20, it's got a few pulls on the arms. I'm not, ah, I think, looking at that, actually, that might have ha originally had something in the arms. I'll still go for 20, 25. That looks like it might have, it might be meant to be carrying something. And on the legs, or is or is it they or are they meant to be attached? I'm not sure. Um, hi, Kez online. Hello, that's a new name I haven't seen before. Um, home bar decor is a key word on the ashtray too. Nice one, Kez. But yeah, um, it was. I got loads of comments carrying him around because I couldn't put him in a bag, so I just had to sit him next to me on the bus. I will carry him around. <laughs> Where are you gonna carry it? I'm reselling it on eBay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so 150, it's even good for 20 or 25. So yeah, that was everything I picked up yesterday. All right. I'm trying to do what I was doing before. Like, like because of lockdown, I kind of got in this mindset of um uh not listing stuff straight away. Um and I think it's gone, I don't think it's affecting my sales, but yeah, I kind of, I was kind of putting stuff off. So like, I'm, I was trying to keep like a, what's the word? Trying to keep like a death pile. But it's, what's happening is the stuff that I'm getting from the charity shops that I don't want to list, then just goes on my death pile. And I end up just only listing badges or oh, what I want to list, what I fancy listing on that day. So, um, yeah. Uh, what was that? I thought you would have loved Steve with his big carrot. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, oh, sorry. So, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get all these photos, um, get all these photographed, get them listed by tomorrow, uh, hopefully. Get, get into that kind of routine of getting them, researching them, photographing them. On, so getting them day one, researching them, photographing them on day two, and getting them listed on day three. That's kind of our mindset at the minute. Um, I don't know where you've got... <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm kind of doing. Just, just speaking out loud. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think I'm done. Unless anybody wants to chat about anything, anybody's got any questions or anything, I'll give you a minute to ask me any questions. But other than that, I think I'll be done. I think I'm going to get off. It's so much easier doing these lives. Um, yeah, so much easier doing these lives than putting a vlog together. Because most of the time, it's just me sitting here for 30 minutes anyway, and I put it on a vlog. So I thought I might as well just do it on a live. I think I might just do charity shop stalls on a live when I've got them, um, and then kind of do sporadic, 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 sporadic vlogs when there's something interesting going on. Oh, I've got something to say. Um, so yeah, seven to go. Oh, do you mean one? Th yeah, I'm not doing anything special. It'll just be episode one thousand. There won't be, there won't be anything special for episode one thousand. I'm not. 
I'm not creative. <laughs> I'm really not. I'm not going to get like special guests and stuff like that. I just I can't be bothered. It'll just be oh, Steve's uploaded episode one thousand. It's not. I'm not doing anything special. I'm not. I'm not creative enough. I just haven't got it. Uh, hi Claire. Um, working from home today. Just having lunch. Nice. What are you having for lunch? I think I'm going to skip lunch today because I had um, I had a bacon and sausage wrap this morning, so I'm going to skip lunch. Live from the bath. Um, tell you what's hilarious. Yeah, I don't know if Andrew still watches my vlogs. I stopped being in Andrew's money mental group because of those bath photos because they were making me ill. Every time I'd go on my Facebook, all I'd see is Andrew's knobbly knees, and I was like, I, I can't do this. So I just, I just left the group. It, was, it turned into a thing where it was every day. I don't know if he's still doing it. I've, I've gone and left that group so many times. It's unreal. I just, I just couldn't deal with looking at Andrew's knobbly knees. I was like, uh, ooh. so I just kept leaving the group. Um, yeah, I should go back into it. There was some, there was some banter in there, but then you just have Andrew's. Bath photos, and I'm like, Ugh. um, sorry, Steve, I'm a lurker. I follow on Insta, but I'm crap at remembering to hop onto it. No, no problem, I don't mind. Um, well, I didn't even know you had a YouTube channel. I've been binge watching you this week, only 900 to go. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you from experience, Dan. Don't go back and watch any of them. <laughs> I go back and watch. I think the reason why I number them is I think I've um, talked about this before. Um, Hi, Night's Life. That's an amount of people. Um, the reason why I number them is, you know, my kind of mindset is I want to grow this and grow it into an empire, kind of. Um, and I just like going back. Like, I'll go back to like episode 200 where. My shed was disorganised, or at one point everything was just there. So all my listed stuff, all my sold stuff, was just there. It's just uh, the reason. That's kind of the only reason why I number them, so I can look back. Um, it's kind of the only reason why I do vlogging, to be fair, because it stresses me out if I'm honest about getting vlogs out. Um, but yeah, I just like looking back and going, "Ooh, oh, look how far I've come." Look how far. Why why in the blue hell was I buying job lot after job lot after job lot after job lot of Ben 10 figures and thinking I was going to make stupid amounts of money out of Ben 10 figures? Why was I doing that? And then, But then at the same time, I'll probably in about a year's time, I'll be like, why in the blue hell have I got thousands of badges that I'm all individually selling them? Do you know what I mean? So it's, it, that's kind of why I like to do it. Um, yes, I am. Need to get back into that. Oh, I'm missing that. Is that the list? Is that Instagram? Um, hmm? So I think I'm going to get off because I need to pack up my shiz, get to the post office, and I need to um, start photographing this stuff. Uh, because you liked playing with Ben 10. I didn't like playing with Ben. Now, when I bought job lots of wrestling figures, I could probably say that. There was probably a time where if I had a wrestling ring, I was like, come on. Maybe that might have happened. But Ben 10, I wasn't into Ben 10. <laughs> Maybe I should change my... Queenie, maybe I should change my um, my channel to that. Maybe people had noticed the search. Steve Green is a knob. <laughs> yeah. Thanks to Lex. Maybe I should just change my name to that. Instead of the Steve Green adventure, Steve Green is a knob. Oh, yeah. You're the Steve Green is a knob guy off um, Nick and Andrew's channel. <laughs> right, I'm going to get off because I need to start doing my packing. I do that. I've got to do labels. If that's what if that is definitely definitely one thing that I wouldn't mind fobbing off onto someone, it would be labels. I'd be packing stuff up and doing the labels. 
I avoid it like the plague. It's meant, like, what was it this morning? Right, so I had to get six items. I've said I was leaving about four or five times. Right? I always did. Um, I had to get six items out of the shed, and all six items were in different tubs. They're all in different tubs. So I had to pull out all 18 tubs, and yeah, they're, they're all in, I had to pull them all out. It was just a nightmare. It just drive me mad. So it drives me mad. What's that? I'm packing a large film props this morning. I hate them. Oh, oh. It's seriously, there was there was something the other day, uh, I sent somebody a photo of it, where there was a neon sign in the charity shop. And I, I looked it up and I was like, oh, there's some more white money in that. And it was literally just the thing of looking at it and going, I never want to pack it in a million years. I never want to pack it. So I'm not buying it. It could have been worth a grand. It could have been worth a grand. It could have been, it could have, I think it was 16 quid in the charity shop. It could have been worth a grand. It's not worth me packing that item. Maybe if it was selling for a grand, but it was only like 50 quid. But there was just, no, I'm not doing it. I'm just not doing it. Packing stuff is very therapeutic. Well, well Chris, Chris, fancy coming around mine and packing my items. There's not a lot there, to be fair. You fancy doing it because for me, it's like hell. <laughs> it's like I'm going. I need to start doing my packing. You're distracting me, guys. Distracting me with enthralling conversation. Um, how did the new rock boots go? Did the boy keep them? They were ninety boots. Um, they left positive feedback, and I didn't hear anything else. Whew. But I have got two returns on the way back. Nobs. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but um, yeah, they 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 love them by the looks of it. I, I was surprised because the one best offer I went for 140, and I thought, well, you know, I'll take between 100 and 120, and they just paid the 140. Um, I have no printer, so I handwrite all my labels. I used to do that. I used to, it's only recently that I've um purchased a printer. It was just taking me way too long. <laughs> I'd have to have like a good spare hour or two to to, um, to do write my labels. It's not to hurt my wrist. I don't know if anybody's anybody do that when you start writing and everything's like computing now. If I write now, I'm like, ah, ah, it hurts. Um, make sure. Well, I need to go. I'm going. Peace out. Stay safe. Stay beautiful. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Like my video and please look at all my other videos. Seven away from 1,000, guys. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye. Mwah.